I'm Jessica Martin Weber and I am the mom to six incredible children. Some people would ask me why I would keep having children. Why would I keep doing this to myself? And, and I don't really know the answer to that because for me and for my husband, for our family, we just haven't ever felt that we were done. For me, pregnancy comes with a pregnancy-related disorder called hyperemesis gravidarum, which is essentially Latin for lots of vomiting in pregnancy. And while morning sickness is something that most expect to have happen, at least at some level, I would vomit anywhere between 20 to 40 times a day throughout the whole pregnancy, not just the first trimester. It's a difficult choice every time to, to enter into a complicated pregnancy, particularly when you know that it may be complicated. And it's hard. My name is Lavinia Martin Weber, and we call Baby Lucky because it's our lucky number seven. Um, and today we're gonna hike up the butte and have a picnic, and then we're gonna do a chromosome reveal. Happy Lama Sad, Mama told me around, I'm super Lama Sad. Wait, they're happy and they're baby. Instead of connecting with having this baby, this, this new member join our family, I connect first with being gravely ill. For me, hyperemesis gravidarum, or HG, has included uh, organ failure, including kidney, liver, and then heart damage, being fed through a line in my arm or through a tube in my nose, multiple hospitalizations throughout the pregnancy uh, and it's not just for a short time it, it usually lasts the entirety of my pregnancy uh, it has been marked by extreme weight loss and severe dehydration and every time i would tell you that of course it's worth it but that doesn't make it not scary and it doesn't make it not really difficult Along with complicated pregnancies, I've also had um, six losses along the way and six times where we were excited to be welcoming someone to our family and then for whatever reason at different times in the, those pregnancies, um, I miscarried. And my pregnancy before this one was a loss and one that, um, that in a way I was relieved about because I wasn't ready, I thought, to go through another difficult, complicated pregnancy. But that in itself was its own mix of conflicting emotions and grief and guilt. And so for, for me to find out that this baby was coming kind of brought all of this together, this fear of a very difficult, complicated pregnancy and also the fear of losing again and facing another loss. But it also felt right. It felt that this person was meant to be joining our family and we, we knew we wanted them and we were excited to be welcoming them. But my initial reaction was fear. And I certainly didn't want fear to be what surrounded the expectation of a new member joining our family, but I can't necessarily talk myself out of it either. Whether it's fear of being very sick and being unable to mother and be present with my children the way I want to be, um, the fear that I wouldn't be able to continue to work um, and my family would suffer financially, the fear that maybe it would even cost my life was then also juxtaposed with the fear that maybe this baby wouldn't make it either. 
and it doesn't always make sense but living with that tension in the midst of joy <laughs> is a, a gift and I couldn't see that at first but as this pregnancy has progressed I see my children celebrating the person that is coming um, who we have nicknamed Lucky for the time being until um, we have another name for them and we do indeed feel lucky this is our rainbow after the storm yesterday was our anatomy scan for this baby for our little lucky um, our rainbow but I didn't realize <laughs> really until yesterday just how much I needed this scan because this pregnancy has been one of the best pregnancies I've ever had and I've been pretty healthy and though I've been sick and though hyperemesis has been a, a part of this journey I've never been this well and I was very convinced something was wrong and really struggling with allowing myself to fully be happy and to fully celebrate this rainbow baby because I was struggling with fear, fear that I didn't want to allow control me and yet was very present. So heading to the scan yesterday, my anxiety was so high. And I was, happy and I wanted to see my baby but there was a part of me that didn't want to go because I was afraid of what I might find out. This pregnancy has not been as bad for me. I have been more healthy than I have ever experienced before and I was afraid that my health was costing the baby, that I wasn't sick enough and that my baby was suffering. And I was so afraid of another loss and that we wouldn't get our rainbow. <laughs> and so we were in the car and I told my husband, I didn't even want to go, but of course I want to go. I've been, I've been wanting for 20 odd weeks now to see this little person growing inside me because always in the past, in very, very difficult pregnancies, where I've been in the hospital, where I've been surviving on IVs or uh, TPN, having an ultrasound where I get to see my baby just for a moment, getting to see the, the hurt, the hands, the fingers, the toes, shoot, even the placenta, <laughs> and to hear their heartbeat to see them kick and move and see their face. That helps me connect so much more beyond the condition of pregnancy and the complications of my pregnancy to the little human being that's coming to join our family. And I start moving past just focusing on being sick. So to have that scan is is for my emotional well-being incredibly important. And yet, we got to the, the appointment and we get in to see the tech. And as soon as they put that wand on my belly and the heartbeat filled the room and we saw um, the, the top of the baby's head and then they rolled down a little bit and they found uh, the heartbeat and just stayed there for a little bit. And as they rolled down to get the baby's abdomen and stopped on the heartbeat and we saw those four chambers, everything else, all that anxiety, all the fear that had been overwhelming melted away and I knew in that moment that our rainbow is our rainbow <laughs> is our lucky and we are lucky we are incredibly blessed and fortunate because that's not everybody's experience in a scan and i've had that that scan where you don't find that heartbeat but 
This time we got to. And this time we got to see our baby kick and we got to go through all the measurements of everything and see those four chambers. And for me, and so many parents I know who've experienced loss and difficult pregnancies, complicated pregnancy conditions that rob us of the glow that we expect to have while expecting. Yesterday, I got to connect far beyond the fear of loss and far beyond being sick to this little person, <laughs> our little person, our lucky little rainbow. And I don't know what the next few months are going to bring, but I know that we have this joy now and we get to connect with this joy now and the person they are now knowing that that we can just be in the joy now has been healing already and connecting not just for me with this baby but for our whole family and sharing that news with our children that we already have with us has been such a joyful and happy time and it it allows the complications of pregnancy and the fear of a reoccurring loss to not necessarily go away. I don't know if that ever just goes away, but it allows us to focus on something else right now and embrace the beauty of this moment, this time, the time we have with Lucky. And while we don't anticipate any additional problems or complications, and while the scan showed that anatomically speaking, Lucky looks very healthy, we know things can change and we want to be present in this moment so that we can be ready for the next whatever it is. And for a lot of families, I believe that the ultrasound experience is first and foremost a diagnostic tool, but it also can be a part of a healing journey. And hearing that heartbeat immediately and in the moment, and then getting to hear it again anytime you need that reassurance and that connection. And a reminder of the joy now is a gift that reminds me that every single life for the moment that we have it. Every single person, every individual, as unique as they are, regardless of what body parts they have or uh, the circumstances within which they're coming into the world, but every single person deserves to be celebrated. And that is something we are committed to as a family. There's a lot of reason to celebrate. There's our rainbow and there's hope and there's promise. There's life now.
say that went left. <laughs> I may be directionally challenged. Where are your sisters? Again. <laughs> For the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> You think that's the head? Sure. I think that might be the butt. The butt. <laughs> this, this, alpaca, unicorn. This, alpaca. This, this, alpaca, unicorn. This, alpaca. This, this, alpaca, unicorn. Come on, let's fish. <laughs> <laughs>